Hello everybody, welcome to another video. On this video we're going to be going image galleries and it's very simple to actually put one in our website using website x5. So the first thing you want to do is like always drag your object, position it, and then double click on it. Okay, now as you can see we have many options up here and we have our image list right here image options and our preview okay so the first thing you want to do is add the images you want website x5 to put in the image gallery so I'm gonna go ahead and add some images as you can see now I'm adding this image and I can click on the image and choose the alt text for this image so I'm gonna put how to make a website nature image okay now he asks you website x5 asks you if you want to put a link to this image for example we already went over this a lot of times you can go ahead and link to a website's page inside your own website a local file in the internet that means that it's on your web hosting server internet file means another website inside of the whole wide internet inner pop-up sound email internet call and we already went over this but just like always um if you forgot there will I will leave a link below this video so you can go over it let's go ahead and close this for right now we don't want any link in our image now it asks for an image description we're gonna go ahead and put I have no image description okay now the next thing we want to do is add another image okay we look for it I already have these images downloaded on my computer um, go to my download sections I have some cool websites that can offer you images so you can upload on your website okay now same thing now I select the second image you choose the alt text the link and the description let's add another one as you can see this is very simple to do that is why website x5 is such a great software it allows us to create our websites easily without having to know any HTML and I know how stressful HTML can be trust me I've learned it myself before I didn't know website x5 and I can tell you that I'm glad I found this software and now let's add this other image I think it's an artist I don't know I just put famous people on on Google okay now let's go ahead and go to the next section so as you can see we already added all our images now we're gonna go to settings now right here is we choose the class type for our image gallery so you can see how right here it has like some border lines which look pretty ugly so you can change that for example you can put it like this how I'm putting it right now okay you can put the left presentation and this is the one I'm gonna choose and as you can see there's a lot of it for you to choose from you can choose the horizontal the vertical and I'm gonna choose this one whoops this one okay now visible thumb lines these are the amount of images you want shown right here so for example right here can be four or five or six or seven or eight or nine we're gonna leave them at three now presentation may mode options this is just gonna change the aspect radio so you can put it on squared you can put the effects so for example when the, the, you choose to change the image you can add some effect to it as you can see over here in the preview you can see how the images are changing in a different way I'm gonna go ahead and put a none because I personally don't like them now I'm gonna go ahead and choose the speed I'm gonna leave it how it is on 25 text color hmm let's see 
let's leave it at black and the font remember that you can choose the font okay let's wait for it to load a little bit there we go you can choose the font the size the color and all that stuff now we go to thumbnail okay now as you can see this is the borders edge that I was talking about it looks very unprofessional well for me it does maybe you might like it and we can choose different ones just by clicking on them okay so let's preview this to see how it's how it looks right now okay now as you can see right here is where we would skip from images okay very simple Then we choose this image, this one is going to appear. So you see, Website X5 gives you a lot of options for you to make a website. It's just a matter of you being creative. And another thing I wanted to share with you is try not to get too involved in the design. Many people get too involved in the design. Even me, when I was starting to create websites back then, I used to get too much involved in the design. And I would just spend a lot of time in the design and I wouldn't concentrate time on my content so as you can see now we're gonna go ahead and choose this one and see how kind of it looks very unprofessional you see okay and remember that the most important part of your website is gonna be your content it's gonna be everything your user is gonna be able to read see and view because that's what they go in there for for to read some content to get some information to get some service you can also let's go back over here to the image object you can upload your own custom image of this one okay for if you know design you know that the option is right there for you you just simply click on it no website x5 you're gonna upload your own you search it on your computer you click it and you open options okay outer margin enable color saturation I've never done this before because I personally don't like it but you can see how it pretty much doesn't do much Okay, so this was another tutorial, and I, I'm going to finish you saying that um, your content is going to be like the food in a restaurant and the service. So if you walk into a restaurant and you see that everything is pretty, that it's well designed, um, it's painted good, it has um, good chandeliers and a good table, but when you go in and the service that they treat you, they treat you bad or they treat you rude and then after the food is um, doesn't taste good, then you're going to walk out of that restaurant and never come back. But you can walk into a restaurant and the food might, the design and might not be so good as the other one, but if they treat you good and the food is great, there's a good chance that user is going to come back to your restaurant. So it's like I was saying, the content is like the service and the, and the food of your restaurant. And try not to focus too much on the design. That's why I have made some designs for you on my download section. So I hope you enjoy them and I'll see you on the next video. Go keep reading this tutorial, keep going through this section. Take care.